Hey guys, welcome back to another short SpaceX updates video. After successfully conducting a cryogenic propellant load test on Sunday, SpaceX is about to test the newly installed water deluge system later today. On the 17th we saw only a partial testing of the steel plates, not up to its full pressure. But this time, it will be a full pressure test indicating that a booster static fire is happening soon. If the water-cooled steel plates work as intended, most of the problems that SpaceX had to face after the first test flight will be solved. The launch pad damages were mostly caused by the flying debris from the concrete underneath the launch mount. Starship SN15, the only Starship prototype to have been launched and survived a landing, has now been scrapped. Workers cut the magnificent ship into half before sending it to the scrap yard. SN15 was a dear ship and will always be remembered by every SpaceX fan. Yesterday night, SpaceX launched its 50th mission of the year. Another batch of Starlink satellites was launched from SLC-40 at Cape in Florida. On Wednesday night, SpaceX aborted the launch of its third Falcon Heavy mission of the year. At about the T-65 seconds mark, the launch director gave a launch abort call-out due to an issue. Launch abort has started. As you may have just heard over the nets, we just heard an abort called out from our launch director. SpaceX is targeting tonight on July 28 for a second attempt for this mission. SpaceX's powerful Falcon Heavy rocket will launch the world's heaviest geostationary satellite ever made, Echostar 24 Jupiter 3 communication satellite from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Station in Florida. I wish the teams at SpaceX the best of luck in a successful launch of this historic mission. That wraps up this short video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one with more updates.